America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Trent's getting on the opener. Mess it up, Trent. Mess it up, Trent. Mess it up, Trent. Mess it up, Trent. <laughs> Morning, sailors. These are your daily announcements for Wednesday, January 24th, 2018. I'm Tyler. I'm Chris. It's a two for one Wednesday in the French department. French club will meet today at three in the choir room to watch a French film. A trailer is available on the French club Google Classroom page. It will be done around 445. There will also be an info meeting about the French trips for both 2018 and 2020. Join Madame Brown in the LMC from 530 to 630 to learn more about our upcoming trips and how you can go. Students and parents are invited to attend. Coming to the movie, stick around for the French trip meeting. The Gender Sexuality Alliance meets tomorrow from 3 to 4 in Mr. Jaruski's room. Hope to see you there. If you're interested in taking newspaper or yearbook next year, you must see Mr. Kent in room 501 today. The Anchor Cafe will begin serving snacks such as chips and candy on Tuesdays and Thursdays. A recruiter from the Air Force will be at school on Monday at 9.15 a.m. Sign up in the counseling office if interested. Seniors, if you have not ordered a cap, or gown for graduation and you do not have one, you need to do that as soon as possible. The deadline has been extended to Friday. You must have a cap and gown to participate in commencement. Scheduling will begin for the class of 2019 tomorrow. Students will be dismissed by the PA during first, second, or fourth hour, depending on your last name. One third. One third. One third. One third. One third of the senior class does not have their cap and gown orders placed. If you do not have a cap and gown, you cannot walk at commencement. Please have your orders turned into Jostens by Friday. Today in history in 1965, Winston Churchill dies. Also today in history in 2006, Walt Disney announces its $7.4 billion purchase of Pixar. This is sailor country. We do everything with pride. There will be a brief meeting in the cafeteria immediately following school today for all players interested in trying out for baseball this season. On Tuesday, there will be a brief informational meeting in Mr. Morales' room after school at 3 p.m. This meeting is for all boys and girls, distance runners for track, as well as any athletes interested in cross country for the fall. Important information will be given. You will not want to miss it. The JV girls basketball team defeated GR Union last night, 48-25. The Sailors had 42 rebounds and snatched 21 steals. The girls had stepped up without their leading scorer, and each player on the team scored. The Piasecki twins combined for 18 points and 11 steals, with Emma getting a team high of 6 steals. Lord Beamer won the battle of the boards, getting 12 total rebounds. Yamija McLemore grabbed 8 herself. The JV Sailors now face Muskegon tomorrow night at Muskegon. Boys varsity basketball dropped a tough one last night to the Red Hawks of Grand Rapids Union. 50 to 39, the loss snapped a four game winning streak. Shores faces Muskegon on Friday at home. Jarvis Walker had an efficient night and led all scorers with 17 points and six rebounds. James Gilbert added six points. Chris Johnson added seven rebounds. Today in sports, grapplers travel to Kenowa Hills. JV and varsity competitive cheer hosted Jamboree and hockey hosts Forest Hills Central at Lakeshore. Students are free. In fact, students are for free all home hockey games. Next year, I want to be a nicer person. My New Year's resolution is to get more wins on Fortnite and then post it on my Snapchat story. That's all we have for you today, sailors. Have a fabulous Wednesday.